and let's try to parallelly have a look on both android and ios devices here let's try to trigger the notification on both the devices and here we can see the notification on both the devices now on ios and android here <music> In this vlog, I'll be showing you how to implement push notifications in your React Native Expo application. And again, it's not a straightforward thing starting from SDK 53. Local notifications are not straightforward in Expo. Here you can see the official notification as well. Push notification functionality provided by Expo notification is unavailable in Expo Go on Android from SDK 53. Here in this tutorial, I will be clearly explaining you. Stay tuned till the end and try to observe what exactly we are trying to do. So here the first thing is, let me try to add the imports that are required for this particular application. And again, before getting started with this particular video, I just want to provide you exactly how you can create this particular project as well. So on the screen here, you can see I have tried creating this project like a template blank so that I'll get just minimal things that are required here in our project. And also I'll be providing these things in the description section below. And the first thing is I have created the project and I have installed the expo notification dependency as well and also in the app.json file here you can see I have added the permission so that we need to take the permission first and also the plugin I have specified here expo notifications and the next thing we'll just start with the coding part now so I'll be quickly trying to add the required import. So these are the imports which I have added here. So the first thing is status bar and the next one are style sheet, text, view, button, alert, all these components we require as a part of this particular tutorial and also the notifications, the dependency we have added right. So from there we got this import and also the use effect hook. So here in this video I have clearly explained you the importance of use effect and the link for this I will be providing in the description section below. Again you can go through it. So now we have added the required imports and now the first step is we need to set the notification handler and let me try to make use of the notification dot set notification handler and here we need to configure few things and these are like how we need to handle the notification so handle notification in an asynchronous way and again here we do have few options so let me try to configure and explain you parallelly so the first one is should show alert so should show alert is true here and the next thing is should play sound i'm trying to use emulator and simulator for android and ios so i don't require sound here but in real time i mean in real device you can turn it on and also should set batch this one also for now i'll be making it false so this is mostly for ios devices but yeah you can configure accordingly so here I think there is some point to be explained. So the first one is use effect. This is again a hook. So now the first thing is we are trying to ask for the notification permission on the app start itself. So you might be well familiar default function is the first function that is being called when the application is installed. So when the app launches, we are making use of this use effect hook and trying to ask the user for the permission. These permissions are required to display the notification and every application in the device need to request the permission and then only they can display the notification. In the status, we are trying to store the current permission status and here we need to compare it now if status equal to granted okay let's do in this way if status not granted okay if status not granted then uh, we'll be displaying an alert so that's why we have added an alert component here an empty array here 
so that uh, what are the trigger points for this particular hook so i don't have any trigger points and again i in detail explain what is a trigger point for the hook in this part of the video so i suggest you to watch this video because i don't want to explain all those concepts here and enlarge this particular tutorial so just try to stick with this particular concept of notification itself in this part of the video the next thing is a trigger notification this i'll be quickly writing and will be explaining you And again trigger notification is a similar function here we are trying to know the current status of the permission the earlier function we were requesting the permission but now we are knowing the status of the permission and if the permission is not provided then we are alerting i mean providing an alert message and then returning back and now we'll be adding a function for scheduling notification so once we provide this particular schedule notification function right then we are able to trigger the notification and we are trying to specify the notification should be triggered immediately so quickly i'll be writing this function and we'll be explaining you what exactly we are trying to do So here we are now trying to specify the schedule notification such that we have specified the title body and here you can observe trigger is null so that we'll get the notification immediately and the next thing is we try to specify some basic design here and once we specify design right there we'll be trying to provide a button as well so before adding this let me try to create a style sheet So I have clearly explained each and every aspect like flex, align items, justify content, everything in this particular playlist and I will be providing the link in the description section below. So I suggest you to go through it. So now we have almost completed everything and now let's try to run this particular code now so here you are trying to see i am trying to run npx expo run so directly i am trying to install the development build on my emulator and now let's try to run this code and quickly try to observe the out so it might take some time initially and also you might face some issues just let me know in the comment section below so you might be by mistakenly trying to run in the expo application that might not give you the expected output and here you can see we have used the hook use effect here so that whenever the application is installed right we have got the alert box to request the permission and once we allow the permission right now let us try to click on the notify button and here you can see we have got the notification now let's try to do the same on ios simulator as well so now i'll be stopping this and quickly try to run on ios simulator as well so simply instead of android i'll be providing ios here and we'll be trying to install the standalone application on both android and ios devices so here is my simulator let's try to install the ios build as well and try to test it now and if you are facing any issues just try to update the plugins and dependencies even the java version for android you need to make sure it should be at least 11 or 17 and now our code is now installed on ios simulator as well let's try to see the notification yes here we got the notification now and let's try to parallelly look at both android and ios here and let's try to parallelly have a look on both android and ios devices here let's try to trigger the notification on both the devices and here we can see the notification on both the devices now on ios and android here and i hope this is very clear for you and if you are having any queries just let me know in the comment section below and the complete code i will be providing in my website and the link will be in the description section below i'll be providing 
and also all the list of tutorials which I have discussed in this particular tutorial also there in the description section below so I suggest you to go through them and if you found this tutorial interesting do like share and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content